Hey, this is Brett with Neon News Today, and joined by Rudy Rong, the uh, brains behind Magic Cube. Hi guys, I'm Rudy from Magic Cube. <laughs> so, do you want to introduce a little bit about Magic Cube and uh, tell people, you know, just give a brief overview about the project? Sure. Uh, Magic Cube has been doing gaming publishing for over three years. We currently publish 23 games, have over 15 million registered users. Our this year's focus is on overseas market. Uh, we are bringing on two games this year. Uh, we are pushing out a slot game in Middle East, working with Soma, which is one of the biggest social network platform uh, in Middle East. And also, we are uh, bringing on uh, Magic Soul, which is an SLG strategy card game, uh, similar to Hearthstone mm -hmm. in, America, in North America. Uh, be sure to check it out on Google Play. Uh, it already has over 100,000 downloads, so you will still be the early adopter and get rewarded. Cool. So I guess one of the most interesting things about me, I mean, I actually wrote an article about Magic Cube quite a while ago, wow. and uh, we were talking about the initial game offerings mm -hmm. and how this is really aiming to disrupt the current uh, game studio or game developer and publisher model. You want to tell us a little bit about how the IGOs work? Yes, so basically we have two parts of the product. Uh, we have a ex Magic Cube Exchange, and we have KubeKit SDK, and we are allowing the traditional games to incorporate our KubeKit SDK so they can build their own initial game offering tokens based on blockchain. And uh, these IGO tokens are all going to be listed on our Magic Cube exchanges. And uh, the exchange is actually already up and running. It's exchange at magicube.magicube.io. Uh, 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 if you go on there, you will see we already have five games listed on there. Mm -hmm. They're mainly social casino games, but we are also uh, bringing out more MMO games and SLG games onto there. And so what it really does is that uh, you can use the IGO tokens for three things. First, uh, you can use it as a utility token inside each game. Mm -hmm. So the early adopters of the game can dig up mining out more IGO token, for example, Magic So you can mine out more Magic So tokens mm -hmm. uh, through playing and coming early, mm -hmm. uh, because later on when there are new contents coming out and new players come onto the game, the consumption of the IGO token is going to be bigger. So it's a demand-driven growing curve for mm -hmm. each IGO token. Also, the IGO tokens can uh, receive dividends from the gaming inc game's income, and uh, you can trade it on the platform. So yeah. So the idea is, I guess, you help fuel the developers by running the IGOs, and then those coins become more valuable as more people get onboarded and need to start using the token. Exactly, exactly. So it, it is like uh, it is like a referral program, but in a larger scale. And what we because blockchain has a lot of user case in the future, it may become the next internet. But what it has already accomplished and it has already proven is that uh, it can build up a consensus through the transparency of smart contract and the real-time trading of exchanges. And that's good, that's good enough for the gaming publishing because we really need to, uh, to re retain the users for new contents. Because in, traditionally, we publish game when there is no new content pushing out mm -hmm. as the game gamers expect, to reach the gamers' expectations, they may just leave. Mm -hmm. But right now, if you already mined out all these coins and you are kind of tied up with the game, and when there are new contents come on, new, new new users to come on, you have a piece in the pie, so it kind of benefits you as well. So that's how we really revolutionize it. And we see it as a 3.0 version of the gaming business model. Mm -hmm. So it's like a, a token economy that helps retain the game players, right? Exactly, exactly. We, we retain the players by giving back the value of the game to the early adopters. And you are always an early adopter if you have faith in the game because there are always will be new content and new, 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 game, uh, new players coming along. So, mm -hmm. so that's how, how it works. It's like a Bitcoin. But like you, you mine, it out, mine out the IGO tokens using gaming behaviors, mm -hmm. which is more reliable, I would say, compared to the other behavior mining projects out there. Like, Mm -hmm. uh, you, there, there are social networking projects you can like comment and mine, or there are like, like video watch projects. Like you watch a video, you mine out a couple coins. Mm -hmm. But these projects, because we started out doing publishing, so we know it's easy for you to get like a hundred rooted Android machine and start clicking and making comments and like, mm -hmm. like stuff, like posts. But it's hard for you to, uh, to program a rooted phone to start playing games because it's 
it's just hard. It, it, it costs you like half a million to make a program like that. Mm -hmm. So, mo so 100% of our mining behaviors are organic. Mm -hmm. there, there's no artificial volumes, no artificial like mining, and all the 100% of the IGO tokens are mining. So mm -hmm. you don't, we don't do pre-sale. We're not here to take your money. We're here to reward you for investing your time and energy and interest each new games we publish. Mm -hmm. So you talked a little bit about the gaming side here, Magic Cube, obviously mm -hmm. you guys have your background in gaming. Yes. Uh, are you going to spread out into other uh, industries in the entertainment? Oh yeah, sure. We also have plans uh, to spread out to other TMT industries, uh, entertainment industries. For example, uh, we have a couple partners who's trying to work with uh, work with some film, film like agency mm -hmm. companies, uh, st uh, yeah, actors, agency companies as well mm -hmm. and uh, and sports sports agencies as well mm -hmm. uh, but our current focus is still on gaming because we know the best and we already have the running business up uh, the business model up and running mm -hmm. so yeah that's our main focus and uh, we are also pushing out our new fund new eco fund so our new ecosystem fund is going to invest uh, invest money in the projects that are qualified mm -hmm. for our our incentivizing programs mm -hmm. um, we our take size range from a hundred thousand to half a million. Wow. So, yeah. so really you're just looking to disrupt crowdfunding entirely then? Yeah, but we don't exactly focusing on the early, like like seed projects. Mm -hmm. I may just point some of the smaller developers, but we're really trying to set a bar for the high quality mm -hmm. games listed on on here. So we are more focusing both our listing and the investment team are focusing on the games who already have uh, good good data uh, for a hundred thousand users at least. Mm -hmm. We don't focus on like the, the the project start from the raw because we are not big enough to do venture, venture capital investments. We are more for the uh, spreading out stage. We invest in the project who have the good data, mm -hmm. uh, the good good user experience, and uh, is proven to be able to use this uh, user incentive model mm -hmm. because it's not for all the game. It's for some games. And for some games who use it, 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 it boosts their user base really fast because you mm -hmm. have you triple your re retention, and you get more user activity, mm -hmm. and you, you you increase your capital retention as well. So you increase your average revenue per user per mm -hmm. month. Cool. Well, is there anything else you want to share with the new community before we wrap it up? Yeah. Uh, be sure to follow my Twitter, uh, Rudy Rong, R U D Y R O N G. And uh, we will we'll, we'll push out new games every every month. Uh, there will be MMOs uh, because we are also invested by Tencent and a couple other big gaming studios in China. So we'll bring you guys uh, many great big hits, blockbusters from China that are that, that cost like millions of dollars to 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 develop. Um, looking forward. Yeah. Right, thank you for joining us, Rudy. Thank you. And of course, if you want to catch more of our DevCon coverage, head over to neonewsday.com or our Twitter and YouTube pages. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Cheers.